family. showing you some of the car <laughs> not the best condition to show you right now it's pretty dirty but got a little we go little we go in the Philippines it's great because you know it's a great way to get around when you're in the Philippines it's not much different in size it's not much different in size than like the trikes you know you got those three-wheel trikes and uh, for maneuvering around makes it very easy you can maneuver around on the spot so just makes it makes it real easy tiny little wheels you know tiny little vehicle back and forth when you got to, just spin right around. It's really great. Pretty decent on gas. Maybe a gas tank would be, I don't know, in Canadian, maybe just under $40 for a tank. So in the US, what's that? I don't know, a lot less. <laughs> so that's pretty good on gas for getting around. People seem to Say, at least from some of the comments I heard that the gas is very expensive but from what I'm used to back home in North America where I'm from the gas is still pretty good over here you know you have to play pay at least you know half half again for the gas and what I'm paying for over here some interesting points for example the tinted window uh, I can't really see. I mean, again, excuse how dirty it is. I just never had a chance to get it cleaned right now, but it's tinted all the way around. So if I didn't have the door open, you probably couldn't even see in through here because full tint all the way around, which is kind of interesting. Again, excuse the dirt, very dirty windows, a <laughs> dirty car. But the front window also is tinted. And um, when you're driving at night, wow, it's a challenge. But you know, it's it's great in the day. It's really great in the day. So you can see here, looking out through the tent, just wonderful, marvelous in fact in the day. Because uh, it's like wearing sunglasses. Of course, you don't need to wear sunglasses because your windows are tinted so well. <laughs> it's a really good full tint, and that's all the way around. But yeah, at night when you have to drive this at night. It's a challenge. Usually with these side windows, I have to roll down the side windows because you're pulling out, you know, into an intersection and everything is so dark and the, and the oncoming lights and so on. It's, it's just not so easy. So I have to roll down to the two side windows. I try to avoid driving at night whenever possible. Uh, so most of the time I don't, but it's like, for example, I see a lot of vehicles that have like a, a section of the front window that's not tinted, like going across maybe what, six inches or something like that across in front that's not tinted. So it's like this line going front, across the front. So that's an option that maybe we can possibly get done, I guess if you remove part of the tint. I don't know how all that works, but uh, at the same time, I have gotten used to it somewhat in the nighttime when I do have to drive, so I guess it's not maybe as bad when you get used to it a bit more, but it is annoying at night trying to drive with the tent, but yeah, so with the car, for payment, it was about uh, 500,000 Philippine pesos. I'll try to put that conversion on the screen as well for Canadian and US dollars. It's a 20, 22, so it's only like a two year old car.
was pointing out earlier in the video up right here it's so much different than back home you don't have any kind of vent right here it's just kind of blocked off as you can kind of see there with my finger there's no vent coming up and uh, there's no actual heater here no he control for any heater because there is no need for a heater so there is no heater just the air conditioning so that's a little different for me I, I didn't even realize it I was driving around and I was like oh yeah no heater no vent up here <laughs> that's different so it took me a little while to even yeah we had it for a while before I even realized that and then of course you don't need a heater here it's so hot all the time but if you were to ever try to import this, which I don't even know if you can do that. Can you do that to North America? But if you if you go to import this, I guess you'd have to get some sort of an upgrade for a heater system involved in this thing somehow. So as we drive, I'll just talk a little as I drive, but if you want an unconventional way to uh, know how to buy a vehicle here, in the Philippines maybe you can listen to our story it was kind of quite unconventional the way we bought this as you know my income is in Canada so um, it's not that easy just to go in and get like a car loan or something you know while you're here in the Philippines so what I did was uh, basically use a, a couple of methods. One was using the WISE app, W-I-S-E, the WISE app. And in using the WISE app, I have it connected to my credit card. So I was able to transfer enough money, which was the 500 Philippine, 500,000 Philippine pesos. Uh, I had to do like three different uh, transfers from WISE to my Filipinas bank account here. Well, uh -huh. and then transferring those uh, payments through Wise basically took the money off my credit card, put into her bank account, so then we could basically buy this with cash. And then I just have to uh, pay on the credit card, which uh, I actually use a line of credit to pay on my credit card, so I had that paid down, paid off. So then it's just a matter of paying on the line of credit which is kind of like your unofficial car payment, only with benefits, because with the line of credit, of course, you can pay you know, as you can afford. So you don't have the set car payment as such. So I'm just trying to show you some of the Philippines as I expound on our little story for the car. <laughs> so that's a bit of an unconventional way to buy a vehicle in the Philippines. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, yeah it's good. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Nice ice cream. Here they sell motorcycles. You can't the guess. This is better than the Robinson in the pub. Quite good. What is the. Peanut. Oh, I was wondering what the little colors are. They're peanuts? How come you don't have peanuts? Do you have peanuts? Is that part of it? There's the highway. There's our car.